Let me play a little Cat Williams. To, oh, there's Cat there anyway. All right. I was going to wow. play a little Cat Williams to get everybody in the mood. Well, but uh, I guess you'll sit here and listen to it with us. Cat, you want to sit and listen to some of your stuff while uh, we uh, remind people of some of your great comedy styling? I know bitches end up made it real cool to be shot. Let me just say, I've been shot before. Ain't shit cool about it. When I got shot, ain't no bitches come out. Ain't no music play. Nothing. <laughs> the fuck the part when I got shot, I wasn't even in the altercation. I'm outside the club watching some other niggas. Look at these crazy niggas. <laughs> oh, shit, that nigga got a gun. Nigga, it's been be good. Bam! Wait a minute, Jesus! Is that a true story that you actually got shot outside a club and you weren't even every, involved? Yeah, every every single joke is the absolute truth. It's the real deal. Yes. Where did you get shot? Uh, it, 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 in what Where part of the body? In my yeah. thigh meat. Wow, you're lucky. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you, I mean you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, but I was unlucky to be shot. Right, that's yeah, true too. You know, so it had to even <laughs> out. <laughs> It really sucks when you're minding your own business and you get shot. You don't mind at least if you're well, getting shot. I always wonder, though, about the people who stand around looking at trouble. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, you never know. By the time you find out it's trouble, like, there's a very small space in between that's trouble and the actual trouble. Really? Yeah, sometimes you catch it at the tail end. Like, you don't know they've been arguing for 30 minutes. You just walked out. <laughs> you don't, you're not really aware of it. <laughs> things happen in the course of seconds. It gets crazy. Yeah. yeah things escalate. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you what, you got some big guys around you. Everyone yeah, but that was the talk when you showed up here, mm -hmm. uh, and everyone was looking in the green room. They were like, "Holy shit, this yeah, guy can't got you got big dudes." I got a bodyguard. I think he's sixty-four years old, and he's, <laughs> you should see this he's guy. Probably terribly efficient. I wonder what the hell. Ronnie... Then I was talking about your bodyguard situation the other day, and I said, "Yeah, when I finally Ronnie's met... like mafia though. Like Please. Ronnie can be sixty. He's pretend mafia. Ronnie's yeah, but... an old Jew. <laughs> but how do you know? You know, because as soon as you walk in, he's like, "How you doing there? He better." Yeah. Be connected. How you doing this? Look here. You need to sign this paper here. <laughs> I know. But I was telling you go rest with the fishes. When I met Richard Pryor, he, you know, he was already, you know, in his, Richard I guess, Ryan. late fifties or whatever, and he had the oldest bodyguards, you know, and you knew they had right. been with him forever. Right. But these guys weren't stopping anybody. Yeah, he was probably, they probably like had me. guns from the Civil War. They <laughs> right. probably were shot you first. <laughs> they had like those. You had to get a musket. <laughs> right. You had to tamp <laughs> down <laughs> the powder <laughs> and the whole the, yeah. thing. <laughs> you wait thirty minutes to see what happens to you. Let me load this fucker up. I'm going to shoot you.